Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld at Shin's Legacy. And we are taking a wee bit of a trip over here. We're going to take care of a psychic suppressor that was dropped near us. So we're going to set a waypoint over there. Can I set like another waypoint afterwards to finish the trip? Okay, we'll do this. I'll, I'll just try and re remember to finish the trip this time. Um, I'm going to choose four people who are armed. Uh, yeah, I guess that's going to have to be that. They're going to try to grab some stuff with them. Uh, do not bring the raw dromedary meat. Okay, you know what? Um, we're just going to cancel this. We're going to cook up our meals first. Yang, cook. We'll cook them, and then we'll go and take the trip with our armed folks. Do we really not have any other weapons kicking around? You know, I should do the thing where... Uh, I'm going to strip away a little of this zone. I'm going to add the stockpile zone back in. This clear all is going to be the preferred place to put weapons. Um, range weapons as a priority. So that way I know where to look if I'm looking for guns. But they'd also be in the stockpile over here. So we must simply not have them. We may have given guns... To the visitors? I mean, I sold some shit weapons too, but yeah, it might have been a thing. Oh, we're doing an actual harvest. There's a little bit of rice over here. Um, although this should be replanted. Let me do... Normally I would avoid doing this early, but it's going to be okay. Okay, it's not grown enough. Um, I'm going to override this. We're going to get... Um, we're going to get a little more corn over here. Okay, Yang's cooking some more. People want to call him Yan, because Yan can cook! Remember, if Yan can cook, so can you. I think that was a Canadian cooking show? I want to say in, like, the 90s? Really fun guy. Always wore, um, aprons with funny puns and things like that. Like, whistle while you walk. Really, really great cooking show. Okay, uh, oh, you can cook a little bit more. Well then, please do. Actually, you probably could have been making some fine meals, because we had meat in this, but at this point... You know, yeah, just get it done. That's going to have to be okay. Done, done, done. I'm going to reset you so that you just do whatever you might need to. As I say, you might have to do a little bit of resting. But now, we're going to plan the caravan. Form caravan. Go there. Accept. You, 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 and you. Bring those supplies. Um, which includes a bunch of medicine, which is going to have to be okay. We don't have bed rolls. We're going to have to make some bed rolls. And yeah, I know we don't have a lot of food, but turns out we don't have a lot of food at home either. With the bed rolls, I guess we still just do this and then unmake them. We have plenty of cloth, so that's not a problem. Oh, we have so much cloth, we could put down like a poker table or something. Pi doing a little cleaning, which is nice. I get you to specifically uh, prioritize this area over here by the uh, by the cooking table, please. Go, so they're assembling and they're gone. Okay. Approaching the psychic suppressor, and then we just uh, just uninstall you so you can do stuff. I mean, we might want to bed rolls for this trip, but at the same time, maybe it's okay. Alright, you've arrived at the Psychic Suppressor. A bunch of you guys. There's the crazed squirrels that are coming. Um, I mean, cover doesn't really matter. Slowing them down would help, but there's not really much of a setup for that either. What I think I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to spread out right away um, to enable more kiting. Yeah, you go there. You go there. Now, uh, we don't have LeBlanc with us, so we can't do a burden. They're going for Kitten. Get Kitten to move this way.
I was gonna say, try to finish the shot. There we go. Okay, melee that one. That's gonna be okay. Nice. Okay, now let's kite a little sideways to try to prevent the bullets from hitting you. Beautiful! Oh, that went so much better. I was really concerned it wouldn't work out very well. Oh, you're resting. I'm like, what happened to you? Um, well then, hold on. What do we do? Do we just go through here and, like, bash the machine? Do I claim this area? Yeah, let's walk out here first and see what the deal is. Okay. Still can't do that. Um, claim? There we are. Do I just attack it? Oh, is this done? Well, no, it's probably not done. Um, that will remain until you destroy it. So I'm guessing... Why is Kitten in combat? Okay. I'm guessing what we do is... Whoa! Look at the little psychic waves. We just start shooting at this thing? Perhaps? Uh, okay, let me do a little save. Blah, blah, blah. Dun, dun, dun. Watch it explode and kill everyone. I can't deconstruct you. I could deconstruct the, uh, the walls. Let's do a hold open on these doors in case there's a fire that starts. I'm I'm really concerned here. Okay, has been destroyed. So we can probably leave. Um I think we can hunt the camels actually. Because we're so close, it's not going to rot. Although, I don't know if we can butcher. Well, let's, okay. I could deconstruct this so we can get it. We could chop down trees. I think I can reform the caravan. Uh, tell you to go home. Accept. Take some rice. Take some potatoes. Take some plasteel steel components. I'm just looking at the mass here. Um, these are... I can take one. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no. Um, I guess we'll grab the dead squirrels. I don't know if they'll rot before we get there. You know, this will slow us down. I mean, we'll still get home pretty quick. I guess we'll just do that. Okay. And then presumably that, that spot will disappear from the map at that point. And no longer be a problem. Oh, you got a psychic soothe. I think this is just a coincidence, but we went from like being psych males being psychically suppressed to males being psychically smooth. Soothed. Smoothed. Both work. Are you just resting right now? Yeah. It's so like, you know you could just run home and then you can rest there. Okay, power did get awfully low. I'm going to build two more batteries. I suspect our actual power generation is still fine. Um, but the batteries are being drained a little too fast when things are dead for too long. Uh, so, uninstall. Uninstall. So, five bed rolls. I mean, it's possible we'll do caravans with more than five people at some point, but it feels relatively unlikely. Caravan has arrived. We're back to being low on food, which is very true. Although a little bit of cooking here is nice. And theoretically, we brought some squirrels with us. Let's Sly eat the meal and then make sure you're butchering, please. And we still have a few meals around, so no one's going to eat the raw meat right away. Okay, a couple of these rotted 
before we got here, which is too bad. You know what? We're If they separate, we're going to go after them because there's a certain amount of food desperation. Okay. Mood decay. Well, we're going to just have to eat that. Right, sterile materials and next and cute prosthetics. So I'm gonna want sterile floor over here. Obviously, we don't have the material for it right now, but we're gonna have to eat it. Sterile tile because it uses silver. So I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna do the floor in the doorway because it doesn't count as part of the room. But we are gonna have to add something like say the some granite. I mean, I know we don't have the material, but at some point we will because we're not gonna want the dust, the dirt to uh, to carry around here. Someone is using that bed. They could probably use this one instead. I'm going to move Sly to this room here. Uh, set owner, Sly. You can have a proper bedroom, buddy. It's going to have to be okay. We're not you know, prioritizing fancy bedrooms for like the people who've been around the, the longest or anything like that. Hopefully they're just into the bedroom that they've got. Sterile tiles is going to be a good thing. These will become hospital beds later on. Like we'll make them. Like, we'll deconstruct these and make hospital beds instead. So, animal-wise, they have grown up. Yeah, if we hadn't ruined the eggs earlier because of stupidity here. I can't believe it makes fertile eggs the default. But, I mean, I guess, yeah, you can store them. Just, we don't want them to be in a um, in a freezer. So, I guess it sort of makes sense. Inspired taming. All right. I mean, we're not particularly looking to tame anything. They do have to, like, occasionally work with these to stop their wildness from increasing. They have to work with some of the aminals from time to time. We haven't had kibble in a bit, but we still really can't do much with it. Inspired trade from LeBlanc, which is good. And now that the psychic um, suppression is gone, we'll actually be able to do something. This is a, a harvest at actually, like, 100% growth. So that's going to help a lot. This rice harvest isn't too far away either, because I think it's five days for fully grown rice plants, um, and it's 70% of the way there, so it's not going to take much longer to finish that. These taters are being done relatively soon. This corn is still going to take forever, but you get a lot of food out of this corn harvest, so this thing is going to be worth tons of nutrition for us at some point. Okay, the thrombos, still two, and they really take a massive amount of damage to bring down. I don't think we can, despite our, how desperate we are for nutrition. I don't think we can go after the thrombos. Even though it does kind of broke my, break my heart a little bit. Okay, simple meal counts going up. Very good. I think we're past our food desperation. We're going to try to keep an eye on these uh, batteries. And hope that they do accumulate. I mean, it's possible. We've just had, you know, a fairly long time of no wind. I mean, certainly low wind right now. Which I suspect, yeah, our storage is currently going down. Adding another turbine right here, right now, would help with this a little bit but that's not really the root problem actually wind is continuing to go down what we probably would like to do is add solar power to our mix to vary it up or in fact geothermal which i think is what we're going to research next honestly if i was going to research it well it's going to take a while it's going to say maybe we didn't even need to bother with the batteries but no let's do that hopefully we get some blocks going soon too Yeah, out of juice. Hopefully we get a little wind. Mostly it's a problem. Watch our food rot because we don't have enough going on over here. I could tactically turn off a few things. Here, let me turn off this building to save some power. Could turn off some lights. Actually, that's not the dumbest thing ever. I'm going to turn off all the lights. They don't use that much power. Let the batteries fill up a little bit, and then I'll toggle them back on. Make sure we've got enough of a buffer. I want to make sure this doesn't go. Um, and yeah, at some point, and maybe now's the time to build the extra cooler in case the next heat wave causing some food rot problems. The nice thing about the fact that, like, we don't have that much food going around... Oh, they never even got around to turning off these lights. Um, how's the wind? Okay, you know what? We're fine. Toggle you back on. Um, the fact that, uh, we are, we don't have that much food, we're going through it very quickly. Even if this wasn't a freezer, I don't think we'd get very much raw at all. We had more silver than I expected, which kind of makes sense. Pi, can I get you to just flick this light on before you keep working? Thanks. Thanks, brah. Appreciate it. And then, while you're at it, 
There you go. Look a couple more of those. So this is still off, and I'm okay with it. We got some nice pants. We can start encouraging people to put on the, the, the better pants. That's okay. When um when the ships come to buy, or you know, the traders come, I'm gonna try to prioritize selling the lower the lower quality stuff. It's not gonna make us such much money, but we don't want our stockpile filled up with it. And then we keep the good stuff for our people until we don't have any bad stuff to sell anymore, in which case, you know, we, we go from there. There's a good chance we're gonna need to sell all our clothing to buy whatever we're looking to buy, or because they have got so much silver. Um, but if if they we can't actually sell everything for you know for money. If they don't have enough for it, then I'll just prioritize the worst stuff. Which I think is normally what I do anyway. I haven't really been conscious with this playthrough, but I think if that situation came up, that's what I would do. Prosthetics are up. Now, we do have someone missing an arm. Now, we can't make very good prosthetics, but we can make some. We need an arc bench. Uh, maybe. Uh... Wait, where do we... Is it here? Where did these get assembled? Mach it's under machining. Oh yeah, we have a uh, machining station we never built. Machining table. Set you up here. Copy. Do that. Okay. Steel and components. And then there's some other things we can craft there. I think that's also where we make weapons. Do, 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 do. Yeah, those squirrel corpses had to get brought outside. A little bit of cleaning over here. Don't mind that. Still need blocks, but Yang's working on it. Yeah, we did put the sandstone blocks ahead because these... Oh, we must not... Oh, shit. Did I make this out of lim limestone? I guess I didn't have to cancel the doors. Cancel. There we go. I'm like, hold on. We have some uh, sandstone blocks. Why isn't it being constructed? Because I had the wrong material chosen. Some of this bit will stay, will be limestone. I mean, it's, it's, that's just going to have to be okay for now. We're just going to have to deal with it. Oh, you guys are going to come and eat all our damn trees. They're so close to being harvested, too. You know what? Oh, chop wood. There you go. Um, reset everyone. Chop down these trees before the thrombos eat, thromb thrombos eat them all. I don't know if they'll eat the wood that's on the ground. Live plants, live trees. Yeah. I mean, they might still eat some of the, the little dudes, but at least it gets us... We have... Didn't we just have a psychic sooth? Now we have a psychic drone? Always targeting males? What is, what is the deal with this game, man? What is with all the psychic stuff? And why is it happening back to back to back? There you go. We got some wood, which means we can make doors again. I could make doors out of steel. Steel doors and wood doors are both fast. Uh, stone doors are very slow. And we will build... We do do some stone doors from time to time when the speed may not matter. Like, we've got a few in these bedrooms. Because you don't, you're not using the bedroom doors very often. But for something like this, we definitely want them out of light material. With the auto doors in particular, it's really nice if you use steel or um, wood. Because it's instant. They don't, they don't have to pause at all. The doors just immediately open without a delay. Which feels really nice. <laughs> would like to hunt the thrombos, but I think they would destroy us, actually. I think it would be a huge problem. These little pockets of soft sand are kind of a pain in the ass. Low food again, I know. Well, we have 31 meals, which is actually pretty good for how it's been for the last, what, three videos at this point? We've been on the edge of desperation. Not really feeling that. And again, we're going to get this rice harvest relatively soon. After this rice harvest comes through... Uh, what I might do is change this to, um, well, actually, corn would be really nice because it is so work efficient. Actually, you know what? Even though it's not very work efficient, I might keep this as rice for a second rice harvest until we 
actually do achieve food safety, food security. Yeah, we might just do that. I wonder if we have enough material for this. Do, 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 do. How are you working on that? Which we do need, because we, we can't have this decaying. That would be really annoying, and you're about to finish it. Okay, yeah. I know we didn't need to run the power conduit to the middle, but... I don't know, I wanted to. It, f it felt like it. Oh, yes, you're going to finish the roofing, although it's mostly roofing on top of walls. You're going to do cloud watching. Oh, no, we don't have enough steel. Okay. Well, then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle this back on. Or, you know what? Maybe we'll just make sure some more mining happens. I mean, disallow sewing over here. Because, like, land graph over here, you're doing a lot of hauling. Oh, we don't... When you're doing the mining, the high priority hauling does make it a little bit weird. Well, does it? No, because you mine it and then you bring it in. It's actually not so bad. It might not be the most efficient stacks, but I guess it's not the end of the world. You're hauling rice, which is fine. Is there a chance I want to change the party? Well, not really. I want you to, yeah, harvest, bring things in. These guys might have a few things to trade. Well, since we no longer have the psychic drone. Everyone's wearing a helmet now. It makes me feel really good. Send you out here. Have a little chat. Oh, that's Kitten. Sorry, LeBlanc. Please come here. We'll buy all your pemmican. No. Well... Okay, you don't have very much money, so we may as well buy your herbal medicine, because what I'm going to be doing is trading you a bunch of shitty clothes. Like that. So we're basically taking all the silver they've got. We may as well take their herbal meds. Mostly, we're looking for their pemmican, which is now going to get hauled in. Okay, tell you what then. With... Um... You're kind of shit at mining, but for now, let me go ahead and bring... So, land graph... No, that's not land graph. Land graph, I'm going to reset you a little bit. So that you will do mining a little bit faster. Again, I could always do some right-clicking. Uh, the thing is, they have plant cut set to a 1, and plant cut is a harvest, and it is it is something we want. If the plants hit 100% growth, we want them harvest, harvested instantly so that they get planted again. It is actually quite important. And Landgraf is also a grower, so we do want that. I mean, I guess what I could do is I could go back to maybe turning these off. You don't have passion over here, but you've got some skill for land, for plant cut, whatever that might be worth. Yeah, we do need some mining happening soon. But I, I don't know if I want to actually physically increase it. Thank you. Um, where'd that revolver go? I guess it's going to get positioned over here. LeBlanc, go in and equip that. Lovely. And yeah, you can go back to bed. Bedroom. Slightly impressive. Overall, our moods have improved a lot. Keeping the place clean is making a difference, although here it's dirty as hell. Which is interesting. I guess there's just a lot of foot traffic through here. And this isn't, like, completely covered, so that might be part of it. There's some dirt being brought in, which is bad because this is where our kitchen is. And maybe a redesign over here would help to prevent some of the, the dirt from accumulating in the kitchen. But I think it's always going to be a high traffic area. There's always so many people that walk through here. It, there's the Dirt is always going to end up in a place. So we might... The only thing we could consider is moving our stove to somewhere that's lower traffic. So that it's not going to have as much dirt on the ground. But the cleaning seems to happen pretty okay now. Land graph. Okay, you're harvesting hay grass, which is still good. We still might need to trim back on how much hay we make, but on the other hand, I would love to see our, our, our duck count increasing again. It would be really, 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 really good. We only have one female duck, which is unfortunate. Because that's what's going to be the limiting factor in our, you know, how many fertilized eggs we're going to be able to lay. A, oh, an actual bulk's good trader. Well, well, well. Not just someone passing through with some things to trade, but an actual trader. Also, we can put a casual hunt down on some iguanas. So these alpacas must belong to this group, yeah. It is interesting that they're not following the exact same path. They're probably going to the same gather point. Just taking a different route to get there, but it looks a little funny. 
I could buy. They're expensive. We could consider the alpacas over here. First things first. Crappy clothes, crappy clothes. I mean, it's good, but damaged. Let's get a sense of where we are if we just sell off our... Actually, the normal stuff, we don't even... We craft until we've got something that's at least good. So normal and below, especially these guys are going to have tons of money. We're probably going to want to sell like crazy. So we'll just sell everything that's normal or worse. Including these helmets. I guess I could sell a couple of... No, no, we're going to keep the bedrolls. Eh, no, we'll keep them. Okay, so right now this is gonna, it's 2,000 uh, silver, which they don't even have. I think we're going to get a male and female alpaca. I think that's very good. And I think we might want to buy as much food as they've got, as we can afford. Now, the meat would be nice because it can make fine meals, but it's more expensive. I think we'll just grab a bunch of their rice. Um, their components, actually, which, there you go, like that. I do want the components, because if we run out of components, we're going to be in big, big, big trouble. I like this trade. Ooh, lovey-dovey on our palkas right away, which is nice. So, the Alps and the Kappas go to the barns. Um... Guard, attack, yeah, we don't need to train you. We could use you as pack animals, and we're really hoping that there's some breeding that starts happening. A marriage is on! <gasps> Pi proposed to Garo! Oh, that's so nice! That is really nice. So we're still short on mining. Oh, and right there. Attack and a siege. Well, <laughs> on this cliffhanger... What we're going to do... Yeah, I won't, I won't sow anymore. We've got a few trees that are ready to go. We've got some wood in storage now. This area is, like, much bigger than we need to. What I think I'm going to do just... Maybe... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to shrink the zone. Like this. And like this. And then the zone that's left, I'll allow sowing. But we'll limit it there. And um, we will consider walling this off. What do we have? We have a bunch of sandstone. Um, I think I will consider walling this off. Maybe the whole area, so that we don't have people burning down these forests, and we don't have um, thrombos eating all of our food. So, let me put this down now. The sandstone walls, so I don't... Uh, there's some soft sand. I mean, we could wiggle around it, but let's just make it like this. Uh, there's the edge of the maps where I can't build anymore, which is okay. Oh! Uh, all right, so we will have to do a little wiggle waggle around this one. Like that. Cancel you. Put a door over here. This will also protect our uh, steam geyser later on. Um, but. I wonder if we can prompt the attack of these guys around, which might ruin their mood, but might be a good thing. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. We're going to figure out what we're going to do with this siege next time. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, ooh, hold on. Lest I forget and... Um, what am I looking for? Work. No. Here. Um, let me just assign everyone to a home area for the moment. So that no one goes wandering off and getting themselves murdered. Uh, when I start the next video. Because I could super duper see that happening. Uh, it would be very easy to do. Alright. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.